Mortal Kombat 1 has an amazing roster with tons of characters that have different play styles, different moves, different abilities, giving you many different ways to play the game. But there is no denying there are some characters that are essentially better than others when it comes to moveset, your entire kit, your mix-up game, your frame data, your damage, and more. So though I think it can be argued these are my top 5 best characters in Mortal Kombat 1. And let me make something straight real quick before we get into the actual list. Though they are great characters, you do have to be a good fighter. I think a really bad player using a good character will still be really bad. These characters just have great perks, great abilities, great frame data, great damage, and more, which I think sets them apart as being the top five best. So with that being said, subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into it. In no particular order, just the top five, my first choice is Kenshi. The fact that you can just get sandwiched between Sento and Kenshi is insane. Trying to block all that is rough by itself. And even if you do block all of it, the chip damage you're gonna receive is just not nuts. Kenshi is a bit hard to master, yes, but man, fighting a good Kenshi, the mix-up game, fighting Sento at the same time, even without Sento, he's really good. So fighting all of that, Kenshi is a really great character. Next on my list is Johnny Cage. I think that comes to no surprise to a lot of people. Johnny's just got a lot of good stuff. He's safe on almost all of his strings and his normals. He's got great specials for combo extension. The height meter, though it's not used as often as I would like to see, it's still a great tool that a lot of Johnnies do use. You can link specials that you normally couldn't using that aspect. He's got good true 50-50s in his strings, plus his fatal blow is a parry, and that can come in clutch sometimes. And he's got awesome damage. I mean, Johnny's just got everything besides projectile, but at that point, you can just use a cameo to enhance that weakness, and then he's got everything. Johnny's crazy, man. As a Raiden main since Mortal Kombat 9, and I've made tons of top five lists, I've never been able to put Raiden on a top five list, and here we are, Raiden here in Mortal Kombat 1, making my top five. Raiden is really safe on almost all of his strings and his normals kind of like Johnny even though storm cell is unsafe yes it does great chip damage if blocked and then you can just make it safe by using a cameo so you can do the chip damage if they block it then get out of it safely he's got a decent mix-up game with some good low some good overheads he's even got a good projectile and a teleport so honestly he's got all the tools you might want in a character which I think all around definitely makes him top five next on my list is Sindel Sindel in the right hands is absolutely psychotic she's got a great mix-up game a great air Graham and good combos, but I think the best move in her entire kit is that scream move because it restands your opponent. And why that is so good is because it gives you as the aggressor all the pressure. So you can do a full combo, restand your opponent with the scream, then go back in for the pressure, whether it be mix up game, go for the grab, go for more chip damage, whatever you want to do, you are still the aggressor at that point, and that is huge. Most characters don't have that type of move in their standard kit without using a cameo. Sandel having that is crazy. So again, good combos good air game good mix-ups the scream restand move she's got a lot of good tools so she's definitely top five some of you might not have seen this coming some of you might have but i think reiko is definitely top five he's a true grappler with an insanely good projectile i think one of the best projectiles in the entire game it breaks armor without enhancing it sure you can duck it yes but the enhanced version you can duck and it does insane chip damage if you plan it right you can actually combo off of that projectile so yeah he's a great zoner then if you try to get in you're just gonna get command grab you're gonna get comboed he's got decent mix-up game i'm not gonna lie his damage isn't really top tier but his entire kit definitely is now some honorable mentions that could definitely make this list you could argue first is ashra she has an awesome mix-up game she's got great compatibility with a ton of cameos in the game she's got good combo routes both from lows and overheads pretty good damage a projectile in both light and dark forms if you utilize those forms correctly she can be deadly i don't know man she's just got a lot of good stuff that I think could make her top five, I can see why you might put her there. Another honorable mention I have is Liu Kang. Probably one of the better zoners in the entire game. He's got armor breaking kicks. So if he sees your armor wake up move coming, he's just gonna kick you out of it. He's got pretty good damage and the best ability to combo from a grab using Kung Lao as a cameo. Being able to turn a grab into over 20% easily is just crazy. Though these are my top five best characters in Mortal Kombat 1, I do think there is some objectiveness to them. Like I don't think anybody's putting Johnny or Kenshi in the bottom five you know what i'm saying but even though with all that let me know down below who is in your top five characters from mortal kombat one and why i want to hear your thoughts so let me know subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more top fives guys tutorials and more